Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is 29th tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the concepts of Logical Volume Manager. So that is also called LVM. So before we proceed, the first step we need to do here is we need to add a block storage here. So I'll edit this virtual machine. We go to add section say that we need hard drive for oh, right fuzzy that's fine virtual hard disk all right we'll allocate 5 gb for this cool then click on next finish okay now let's boot this machine so while this machine boots we'll talk about logical volume manager concepts all right In this tutorial we are going to learn this very interesting concept of LVM. So this is very useful for sysadmins because uh, many times you need to uh, add storage to your server or you might need to extend your existing storage. So this is a logical grouping of volumes or storage which are, we are going to learn. So logical volumes and logical volume management makes it easier to manage disk space. If a LVM hosted file system needs more space, it can be allocated to its logical volume from the free space provided in, in the group and it, the file system can be resized. So if a disk start to fail or a replacement disk can be registered as a physical volume with the volume group and the logical volume extent can migrate it to the new disk. So without altering much, you can resize your volume group, you can create a new volume group. You can either reduce the size of the volume group if needed. Cool. So, few definition we need to learn about is number one is physical device, number two is physical volumes, then number three is volume groups, and the finally fourth logical volumes. We'll look at these concepts one by one. So, what exactly physical devices are? So physical devices are the actual storage devices that is used to persist data stored in a logical volume. Those are your hard drives. So these are typically a block devices like the one we have added here in this virtual machine and could be a disk partitions, whole disk or a RAID array or a SAN disk, whatever. A device must be initialized as an LVM physical group in order to be used in the LVM. The entire device will be used as physical volume. So we are going to see what it means in details later. Then second topic was physical volume. So what exactly physical volumes are? Now we saw physical devices. From physical devices we create physical volumes. So these are used to register underlying physical devices for use in volume groups. Cool. Now LVM automatically segments physical volumes into physical extents that is in short called PEs. These are small chunks of data that acts as the smallest storage block of a physical volume. Next, what exactly is volume group? Now we have physical device, from physical devices we created physical volume and from physical volume we can create volume groups. So these are storage pools made up of one or more physical volumes. A PV can only be allocated to a single physical volume. It cannot be associated with multiple physical volume group. So a VG or a volume group can consist of unused space and any number of logical volumes. Cool. Now logical volume that we are going to create now, it's, it's created using volume groups, which in turn created by physical volume and the basic was the physical devices. So let's let's learn about these concepts one by one so from physical devices we created physical volumes from physical volumes we created volume groups and vol from volume groups we are creating logical volumes so lvs that is logical volumes are created from physical extent in a volume group and provide the storage device used by applications or users and the operating system so lvs are a collection of logical extents like we had physical extents. Similarly, we have logical extent also. So LE which map to actual, uh, the actual physical extents, the smallest storage chunk of a PV. Cool. So we'll see, don't, don't worry about these concepts if you are not able to understand or grasp right now. 
we will see the hands on how exactly it's done then it will be clear to you so let's log in into the system now now our system is ready so let's become root by tapping su we'll type our password now the very first step for creating an LVM uh, is in LV is to prepare the physical volume or physical devices so we can either use F disk or G disk to create this physical volumes all right so let's see we'll what all things we have in our system we have this minus L so we have if you see SDA1 SDA2 these are our types 8e and 83 right but we added a new drive if you remember of 5 gb in size so that device is here dev stb that is 5368 mb in size so we will create a maybe a 2 gb size of physical volume from this device so by typing f disk slash devices slash and that's stb what we found here stb cool. now next we'll be creating a physical volume we will take out 2 gb of size from here we'll create a new partition uh, primary partition partition number one first sector fine last sector plus 2g all right then we need to save this all right it will save for us and then we'll type part probe we will create another uh, drive for another partition of size 1 gb so we'll type again f disk uh, disk slash so devices slash stb and we'll create new disk so again would we'll be primary partition number two start is fine last will be plus one g all right so we'll save it then we'll say part probe and finally we will see how our disk looks like so f disk minus l so we have two new drives here stb1 and stb2 so we'll create a physical volume from this devices we'll type pv create slash dev slash stb1 and slash dev slash stb2 cool so it created two physical volumes for us the next step is to create a volume group from these two newly created physical volumes so we'll type vg create and we'll give a name something like vg hyphen alpha vg hyphen alpha and from what volume what physical volumes so those were slash devices slash stb1 and slash devices slash stb2 so it created a volume would call vg alpha successfully now we have created a physical device we have created a physical volume from physical volume we have already created a volume group named vg alpha which has two physical volumes here these two all right so it's a logical volume it's not the actual group it's a logical connected groups so next is to create a volume group out of these uh, physical volumes and volume groups that we have created so I'll type the command is uh, so whatever we have done till now if you want to see in detail you can type like uh, pv create we used the very first command so we will you can type pv display and it will show you vertical whatever physical volumes that we created we created 2 gb in size first physical volume and second was 1 gb in size next we created volume group 
that using the command vg create so we'll see we'll say vg display and it will show us the volume group created so we have created only one volume group here with the name vg hyphen alpha and the final step for creation of volume group or logical volume is lv create we'll type lv create and we'll assign um, we need to provide what size of logical vo volume we are going to create right so um, it, it the size can be in uh, like uh, mbs or gbs or you can uh, give how many exactly the uh, the extents you want to be in that group so let's create a lv uh, or logical volume called Vivek maybe in 2 GB in size in the volume group VG alpha so we will type LV create a new one named Vivek volume we'll write Vivek volume or maybe together Vivek volume all right and then we will type its size should be 2 GB and from what uh, volume group we want to create so we created VG hyphen alpha so we'll write VG hyphen alpha now it created logical volume called Vivek volume now again if you want to see how it was created uh, you can always type LV display and it will display you the logical volumes created in now all the all the details are mentioned here now the now we where our logical volume is ready so as you might have many of you might have guessed correctly final step would be to mount it so uh, to mount first we need to create a file system on this device so we'll type mkfs then to extended file system to devices slash vg hyphen alpha and the name of my volume group was Vivek volume simple done now this has to be mounted in a directory so we are going to create a new directory called mk dir slash mnt slash Vivek volume all right now this device or this directory is created now final step is to make the entry in the etc fs tab file so we are going to open vim slash etc slash fs tab come to the last line and we will write slash devices slash vg hyphen alpha and then the name was vivek volume and this has to be mounted where mnt slash vivek this is a directory that we just created all right now this is xfs defaults One, two, we can write. All right. Now you need to see whether the mount is correct or not, and whether it's mounted properly. We'll type mount hyphen a. Ah, done. Now we can type df minus h. This will in human readable format. So you can see that we recently mounted something here that is def volume group alpha vivek volume of 2 gb in size and where it's mounted mnt vivek volume so this is how volume group is created now uh, first time it might look little different than what you have been doing till now practice it for a number of times and you'll be soon comfortable with this so don't worry guys uh, even if you are not able to digest it go through the entire video again and read a bit about this these concepts uh, Google these concepts and you'll know the definitions and how they are used in the next 
tutorial we are going to see how we can get rid of this volume that we have added and after that we'll see how to resize it and do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the future updates or the tutorials that I'm going to create have a nice day guys thanks for watching